Hello. If you want to support us here at The Contemporary Gentleman, you can buy into our spy series, links below. And depending on when this was recorded, we may or may not have an Instagram and or Patreon. Uh, if we do, links are below. Cheers. James Donaldson here and I'm bringing you a video on my helmet setup. So we're going to talk about that. This is another one of those kind of unscripted me just kind of going on about it. I'm going to try to stay more focused on what I've actually done to the item, not 100% the item itself, uh, but I'll talk about both. So if you're interested in all that, stay tuned. So when it comes to a helmet setup, you really have to think what am I using this for? I have two key uses and luckily they very much overlap making it pretty simple for me to make my decisions. Now, for starters, I've got an OpsCore Fast SF. No, I did not buy it because I want to be Mike from Grand Thumb. Uh, it's actually a very commonly used helmet and kind of for the reasons that he does use it and that a lot of people use it, I also use it and that's the lightweight. I wear a helmet a lot for my military job and then when I train and do things, and especially using night vision now, I end up wearing the helmet even more. So some lighter weight, but still good fragmentation protection, spall protection, um, all that. It's very good for. So um, it's, it's also just a proven design. It's kind of like to me, it's like an ex like a I don't know how to say, like a Glock helmet, even though it's kind of expensive and Glocks in the grand scheme aren't that bad. So um, now going from there, I've got some other features. So we'll start with. Ear Pro. I started with Peltors because I was issued some. Okay, fair enough. I very much like the mounting of the Peltors. Mm. I like the Ops Core mounting better, which is what I've got now. And there's a good reason I switched to it. But um, I really like the pop off, pop in feature. So that's nice, but at the same time, the Ops Core is so comfortable. I don't really miss that feature as much as I thought I would. So, kind of my progression of the helmet is uh, I always wanted a red light mounted on helmet, just a red light. No accidental way to turn it to white light or any of that. No worries there. So, that was a big thing. I used to have it mounted over here. I got to a point where I wanted an additional white light slash IR light, which I have the SNS slash surefire x3 or uh, excuse me scout light 3 volt attached uh, with the, the TNVC head which I'll talk about in a minute but mounting that I was going to want it on this side and so I wanted to mount this over here this also did not fit very well play very well with those 3M attachments here so by adding things here I need to do something with my hair and protection and after doing some research comparisons all that I really was interested uh, and talking to a couple friends, one in particular, Josh. Hey, Josh Hall. Um, and so I gave the Opscore a shot, and they are fantastic. Now, I haven't used Peltor Comtac 3s, 
So I don't know how they compare to those. I think they're better than the fives. Definitely better than the fours and threes. So, uh, again, not a review on them by any means or any of that, but it's just my experience. So, I do really love my Opscore amps, even though they easily go on to a headband. Still tempted to buy another set. So, um, and I do like the helmet mounting because when you look at it, I was just not using any of this real estate. And now I'm taking advantage of it and opening real estate up here. So here we have just a regular Princeton Tech. Uh, I think it's MPLS or something like that. But it's a great light. Two settings. Perfect. Uh, very nice. Then on this side, as I said, I have an SNS Surefire, the TNVC head. And that means that it goes from br uh, dim to brighter. So it's two settings, both for white light and IR. Goes from dim to brighter. There's another way to get it, non-TNVC, where it goes bright to dim. Makes more sense to me and TNVC, and I'm assuming many others, to go dim to bright. S may seem menial or trivial to you. I don't think it is. So, uh, I very much love this. It is awesome and useful in many ways, uh, not the least of which I can umbrella. Oops. I can umbrella above my head, so I'm not doing my pet peeve. Oops, I just okay. Well, oh, okay, I didn't have it bright enough, so I can umbrella. One of my pet peeves with head-mounted lights is when people shine them in people's face, albeit inadvertently irritating. Huge hot spot for me. Hot button, whatever. So, uh, we won't do that. You can aim it down, and you can aim it where you look. When I play fetch with my dog in our backyard, uh, I look as the thing flies, which is funny because then he can see it, and then he goes and gets it. Um, but what's more, especially under infrared, is if for some reason you have an infrared device fail, uh, as in an emitter, or you just don't have one, say you're using a pistol and you don't have an IR light with it, and but you do have a red dot, you can at least turn on your IR here and present your pistol there. So it's very nice to have. I use it a lot, very much. Now, um, as far as kind of getting out of the helmet aspect, which I do have a video on, helmets, so comparing this to Hardhead Veteran and e ECH, ACH, um, love this, but kind of going from there, so I've got a beacon, and I'll get into my bag I store this all in, oh Jesus, so I have a beacon which has a few different settings, there's green, green with the flash, and then it has an infrared mode, and in the infrared mode it flashes dim IR, or flashes bright IR between the two settings. There are a lot of ways you can get that emitter. It's the Hellstar. I don't remember the name, I'll pop it up somewhere around here. But basically there's a lot of ways you can get done. I did some research on kind of what people want, do, think, all that. I went with uh, one that kind of made sense to me. Uh, and I haven't really had any reason to complain about which one I got, so at least for now I'm going to stick with it. As far as night vision mounting, I have a Wilcox G24 breakaway mount. Mounts right up on the helmet, no problem. Love the did dovetail mount. This mount is so much better. Uh, for a while I used it with PVS14, and now I use it with my dual tube MH1s, which I have a video on. So. Awesome dual tubes, love them. Uh, and so they are really great the way they just fit right on. So great mounting there. That's kind of my night vision setup there. Now, far as the rest of it, um, it's pretty it. It's pretty straightforward, very functional. I don't have a bunch of extra stuff on there. Some people might say, what about a counterbalance? I do have a counterbalance, and it's just that, um, I don't even remember the brand. I'll pop it up here. Sorry, I should have looked it up before I did the video. But um, it's just a counterweight. If I'm using the nods short enough time, because they're so light, 
uh, don't even bother putting it on, but I do throw it on otherwise. And of course the Velcro's right on. Spare batteries, I just keep it in pocket or something. Like, I don't have to take my helmet off. It's easy to pull the nods off, switch out batteries. Um, it's not a big deal to also take the helmet off, but I just choose not to. I kind of like do the batteries, throw it back on. If I had a battery pack, maybe it'd be a different thing. But I don't run a battery pack. I like the onboard battery. I'm used to it, whatever. So, I guess comms is all add to comms. I basically have a down lead, and then that goes into um, whatever next connector I have that goes with my radio. So, I have a couple different connectors depending on the radio. And that's pretty much it. So, kind of quick, easy video on my overall helmet setup. Uh, this is what I use for the Army, this is what I use personally. I don't really change anything out. Sometimes it makes sense to pull something off, I'm not going to use it, like the mount. I have a mount, plus it goes in my, ooh, bot gear bag better. So this is a bag. The night vision is in this handy little deal. It pops right into this portion. The helmet fits in here. That fits in there better if I don't have the mount on here. Now as you can see, there's Velcro here. And there are some pouches here where like I have the G24 mount and the um, beacon. So I can organize things really great and it's very nice. I used to kind of just carry the helmet separate with everything, all my BS, carrying to the bus or wherever we're going or chopper or whatever. <clears throat> it's just nice to have this bag. It's light, it's handy. It's got all my stuff organized right there. Don't have to go digging through other things. So if I want to pull something off a helmet, I know it's organized right in there. I don't have to fish through a bag. So I do recommend this odd gear bag. I think it's reasonably priced and thus far it's served me really well. Um, I'm not done beating up on it. So it'll probably be a while before I say yes, 100% buy it, but I would say 90% buy it at least. So this has been James Donaldson with the Contemporary Gentleman. And until next time, keep your composure.